Hello guys, welcome to our mukbang. I usually don't even like doing these videos, but this one over here was inspired and wanted to do it. I feel like if we're gonna share my labor story and how it's been. <laughs> By the way, she's right there as mine you can is, see. I was supposed well. to crop in and not see her, but that shoe just flew off. But might as well just eat and share the story because you know, parents, we just need to do as many things as we can before she when she's sleeping. Yeah, we. I don't know if there is a mukbang with mukbang mukbang with mukbang mukbang. We've never with, done one before. With with their child here, like <laughs> like mom and dad mukbang. Is that something we just started? Can someone Maybe. can someone confirm that and just let us know? From the last video, we left off saying uh, we'll reveal her, but we've put her on social media so much that we're just like, Pretty let's much. just show her feet and then we'll reveal her in this video. <laughs> Oh, there goes the boot again. She doesn't like So it. apparently we try to dress her up cute, but uh, <sighs> everything she's wearing, it's like not for her age. So we were just like, let's just well, put it, it on. Well, it is. for three months and she's like two months and a week. <laughs> she's 18 years old. Two, almost, oh, bless two a, you. almost two and a half months. Should we just show her now? I yeah. feel like. It's almost her nap time. So I think we'll show her. This is Alani. Say hi. She doesn't talk yet. We uh, are wondering if something's wrong. <laughs> no, this is our daughter. This is Elani Kyoko Sanchez. Is this a Kyoko or Kyoto? Kyoto? Kyoto. I was like, I got this shirt made. Say hi, mama. But yeah, this is her. And um, as you can tell, she looks like me. Everybody says she looks like me. Pretty much. She did all the hard work carrying her for nine months and I'm, she comes out looking like me. We're gonna say. You gonna hang out with us? Welcome to our mukbang where, yeah, I don't know if I'm saying that right, but where we're actually gonna try this. And like I said, hopefully we're the first ones to have their newborn here and see how that goes because you're gonna see a lot of like our reality. While we try to eat, she has to hold the baby and I eat. No, I'm just kidding. It's the other way around. <laughs> yeah, right. Um, but yeah, uh, it's different. It's definitely different when you have a child, a newborn. It's because I feel rushed to eat, so I could help her take over, and then she has to eat. And I was like, yeah, we don't really have dinner at the table anymore. It's more like inhale the food and then pass her on and try to calm her down, soothe her. But yeah, I've learned a lot. Are you tired? I will tell you this though. I, oh. oh, see? I think she's tired. Is it your time to go, Nene? <sighs> but anyways, oh. we'll be back with more after this. So plan A, she's back. It's not gonna go how we <laughs> planned. By the way, she wore all the food and we're not gonna eat it warm anyway. She like picked it up and then warmed it up. I was late picking it up because I was nursing her. Then I got home, then I warmed up all the food, but then now since she's going for down for a nap. So we ordered from Kyochan, which is Korean fried chicken. And we got French fries. What else? Oh, spicy soy garlic chicken. Do they only sell wings? Honey chicken. And then that's like a, what is that one? I don't know. We have our list here. <coughs> spicy soy ginger wing, honey wing. Chrissy rice chicken? Crispy. It says Chrissy. They misspelled that. Rice chicken strips, dipping sauce, ranch, dipping sauce, kyochon, mm, red sauce, yep. kyochon, kyochon, something like that. Pickled radish and French fries. Thank you, J1K. This is this is how it is. This is reality. This is mukbang 101. See, <laughs> told you. This is gonna be ridiculous. I'm what? I'm sweating. Why, you're nervous? <laughs> it's just the camera. It's hot. You're hot. You're my milk. 
But yeah, the first week having Alani was like amazing because all she did was sleep. You fed her, she went to sleep. And now she is, how old is she now? Two months and... It's gonna be 10 weeks. 10 weeks. Oh, so she wasn't born on her due date. That's how, yeah, that's, that's how we left off because we left off on our other video saying she was gonna be born January 28th. That's what this mukbang is gonna be about. How we... I just had a brain fart. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> it's called dad brain or something, right? It's a hot mess. This is a hot mess. Well, this is our life now. This is our life now. Oh, God. Yeah, so we started. We started. <laughs> I was about to say we farted, but I made sure it was an S. She's like, um, so on my 38-week appointment checkup, um, it was supposed to be quick. It was supposed to be go in. <laughs> yeah, so she was born January 17th, guys. Unbelievable. I wasn't ready for that. I actually had, uh, I actually had, what's it called? Um, Gigs? Yeah, I had two photo shoots or something like that the same week. And I was like, I think it was two days after that I was going to have the shoot. And I was like, she's not gonna be born this week. So I left the last two weeks after the January, after January 17th, I left all that clear and available for Alani's delivery. Alani's, <laughs> Leilani's delivery. <laughs> and so yeah, we went in for a doctor's appointment and- on, on my 38 week appointment checkup. It was just supposed to be a checkup where we would go, um, let me see, take my blood pressure. They would ask if I want a cervical exam to see if I'm dilated, pretty much. So I was going into it wanting to deny my cervical exam. Um, and that was it. So when we went, uh, my blood pressure was elevated, which it always is at the doctor's appointments, but they told me I qualified for what was it, gestational hypertension? Which is basically like high blood pressure in like pregnancy. Um, so she walks in and she's like, so you have high elevated blood pressure, which was like 141 over 80 something. And the cutoff was 140 as a top number. So I told her it just reads every time super high, but then it goes lower. She goes, well, it, it did, read once high so you qualify so i um would like for you to be induced and this was at 38 weeks and i was like okay induced i'm like when when would you like for me to be induced and she was like today and i was like today and i look at robert i'm like all right are you ready to have a baby today and um let me go you off there i was like i was like my photo shoots all my gigs i, I left the i was thinking about going to labor that day <laughs> And then, hold on, I need to put that she's sleeping. We'll keep this part rolling. That's kind of what happens. Um, so then I went over pros and cons with the doctor. I said, is there any cons that would be if I keep her in, all of that stuff. So we decided to go into labor. So I told her she could do the cervical exam because I'm gonna be um, checked in anyways. So when she checked me, she goes, don't expect <laughs> makeup tutorial. She's like, don't expect um, to be like dilated too far because you're 38 weeks, but you know, let's just see. And she goes, wow, you're already three centimeters dilated. She's like, have you been contracting? And I told Robert and I told the doctor, not really, <laughs> like, no. Um, she's like, okay, well, that's good. Like, it's gonna progress very well for you. Cool. Came home. We already had our hospitals backpack, so we grabbed it. Head to the hospital around 2 p.m., I wanna say, at the Kaiser. I still, sorry, I still told her, it's fine, we'll go home, cause she was like, I don't have anything packed. And I was like, it's fine, we'll go home, we'll pack stuff, we'll take our time. No, we did have it packed. Oh yeah, 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 we did, we did. No, but you were like, let's go home now. And I was like, oh, we'll go get something I was to in eat. a rush, cause I got like nervous that the doctor said I should be induced. But then but I was it, like. It was better this way, cause we comfortably went home, showered, got our bags, <laughs> showered. showered. <laughs> headed over there ate something so all of that was super super good so we got to the hospital around 
2 p.m. ish or so and they had to run tests on me and baby because I had high blood pressure and so when they're running tests the other nurses and doctors were like your blood pressure is fine I'm like I know but they scheduled me to be induced so here I am um, so we were getting labs done for like two three hours I was being monitored and then we didn't get checked into our room until six o'clock no no 5 30 6 I can't really remember um, and then they decide to check me again, my cervical exam. And they said, when was the last time? I said, oh, like 10 this morning. They're like, oh, let's just check you, see how far you are. And I'm like, okay, might as well. Like, and she was saying she was gonna opt out. Yeah, I kept saying I'm opting out, but I was like, might as well just see the progress since I'm in labor. And they're like, have you been contracting? And in the labs, I would see my contractions. And, I'm, and I told Robert, I think I'm having contraction right now, but I didn't feel anything. Thank you. And the doctor was like, Sorry, you don't feel anything? The crispy chicken. The doctor was like, you don't feel any contractions? I'm like, She's like, no. no I never even feel my husband in... Oh, my bad. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> and so when I got checked in to like where I'm giving labor, they said, let's just recheck your cervical. Um, cervical let's do a cervical exam. I know. That's it. Everyone said that was really good. This whole... Oh, sorry. All this is really good. Yep. And I'm not eating without her. I'm eating so I could take over, but she's actually doing better than me and putting her down. Put her down. Um, and so they said, let's do another cervical exam since you haven't had it since 10 in the morning. It was like six something or five. I don't even remember. And they go, wow, you're six centimeters already. Like, that's crazy. And I was like, six? I'm like, okay. And they're like, you don't feel any contractions? I'm like, no, like, no, I feel fine. And they had her on a monitor. Like, uh -huh. you could see the, the, what's it called? Contractions. Yeah, when you could it see hits it. the peak. You could see it. And down. I was looking at it. I was like, is that your heartbeat? She was like, no. They're saying those are contractions. I was like, oh. And then I was just like staring at that for a while. And then we were stuck in that room for a little bit. They were like, oh, we're going to get your room ready. So it took a while. Baby, you're repeating what I She did. She did say that already. Huh? <laughs> We were in that room. We were watching the contractions. So yeah, when they checked me out six centimeters and I was like, well, like, you know, it's good. They're like, okay, we'll start you on Pitocin in like an hour or so. Remember, like they kept waiting for the doctor's orders. So then um, when they saw me, I was six. They were, they were gonna start the Pitocin around seven or 7.30. I forgot, something like that. And then well, what, they said- What is Pitocin? Pitocin was basically something through the IV to jumpstart going into labor. So my body actually went naturally six centimeters. So even if I decided to tell my doctor, I don't want to go into labor that day, I don't want, I'm denying your request for me to be induced, I still would have went into labor naturally that day because I went from zero to six centimeters all on my own, like my body naturally did. So I would have just been at home. But the scary part was, is I didn't feel contractions the whole time. So at home, I probably would have just told Robert like a normal night, like I didn't feel anything. But when they gave me the Pitocin, that's when I went into really strong contractions. And then that's when the doctor said, oh, do you want, to, want us to break your water? Um, I denied the breaking of the water and um, this, they were kind of telling us like uh, that, that water is kind of like a cushion, so just have it break naturally. So we agreed to that. So the Pitocin hit really hard where I was in super bad pain and the pain I could explain, it was literally like, like the worst menstrual cramps I've ever experienced. Um, so they lowered the Pitocin down. They were just kind of like, uh, let's, it was like, two, level two, two point something Pitocin, so they went back to one. Um, and then I remember I, t I told them my body's naturally pushing, and this was like around 10, right? So they gave me Pitocin around eight, I think. And like they finally got the order in around eight. And then by 10, um, She said you got it wrong, mom. By like, 10 or, I forgot my time, my times are so off. Um, they actually um, came in and I was, and I told Robert, um, oh, cause they asked, okay. They asked me what my game plan for birth is. And so I didn't have a birth plan like printed out. I just basically said, I want to do a natural, 
but if I need the epidural, I will ask for the epidural, but my plan is to go natural. And so they gave me other alternatives to the epidural. They gave, they said I could have got um, fentanyl through the IV or what else was the other options? I don't even know. I think it was like one or two other options. I was just more shocked because I was like, she's about to give birth that day. So everything And I was chilling saying, the whole day. But when the Pitocin hit, it was bad. And then I started getting back to back. So then I had, I told Robert, get the nurse. I want the IV of the um, fentanyl. And the nurse said, it's not going to take away the pain. It's just going to be a little bit more manageable for you. So I said, fine, let's do it. Like, I still don't want the epidural. Like, let's do it. And so they came in, didn't help, didn't work, at least for my body. I don't recommend it. It was pointless. Um, but then that's when I told Robert that I I'm, feel fat. I'm the only one eating this. Well, I'm talking right now. Then you could talk how the two months have been. See how she treats me? <laughs> That and was so, her saying it in the nicest way. I'm talking right now. <laughs> and after the video, <laughs> she's cracking up. Um, yeah, so she she basically was laying there in bed and then they gave her that medicine thingy majigger. And then <laughs> and then it was like in your in your IV thing, whatever. And then um, yeah, she, she we had a nurse come in, super nice nurse she was like um don't worry you probably won't have the baby today um because she didn't think we were gonna have the baby by today or the 17th and she's like the most you'll most likely have the baby the the 18th the following day and i was like damn we're gonna have to stay up all that time for her to give birth and then well, she, she kept saying and then she first was first time moms mm -hmm. 12 to 20 or 24 Wait, 24 to 48 hours, like yeah. first time moms. And I'm like, okay. I was like, hmm, we'll see about that. But yeah, so she was like, she was like, oh, you guys will have birth, or give birth tomorrow. We're like, oh, we'll see you tomorrow. She's like, actually, I'm going on vacation. But anyways, we thought we were gonna see her again. And so another nurse steps in and she was like, hi, I'm gonna be your nurse. If you need anything, blah, blah, blah. And so I was like, okay. And then, she started feeling contractions. And so by this time she was getting them stronger and she was like, call the nurse. And then I was like, okay. So I was bugging the nurse and she's like, do you feel it? She's like, yeah, it hurts here and there. She's like, okay, those are contractions, that's fine. But she wasn't in like so much pain where she couldn't talk. And then all of a sudden I, she was like, call the nurse, call the nurse. Like it hurts so bad. Cause they were, they were longer. Her contractions were longer. Like she was in so much pain. She was like, ah. And I was just holding her hand and I was just like, you, like, you got this. And, but actually, no, at that moment, I was like, damn, that was a long one because the monitor's there. Huh? And I was like, I was getting, I thought it was a good thing to tell her about. I'm in was, pain. And Robert's like, damn, babe, that was a long one. Do like, you feel it? And I'm like. Because you see these little yes. lines like this. Dee, dee, and then you see one going. Dee, doo, dee, dee, like that, right? And so when I see the long ones, I'm like, oh, snap, that's a big one. And I didn't know that it was widening for the baby to come out, right? That's what contractions are, is when the baby's like, oh, like you're widening up. And so I was like, I know that's where the pain was being caused. I, didn't, I really didn't know. I really didn't know. It sounded like I'm gonna cry. I didn't know what was gonna happen. Like I was like, I've seen so many like scary birth stories. Or well, I was watching all these birth stories and then she would send me some like, oh, this could happen or that could happen. I was like, so I was getting scared at the same time, I was nervous. But um, going back to when the nurse was checking up on us, we were like, we we're like, oh, she's feeling contractions, they're longer. She's like, yeah, yeah that's fine, that's perfect. And, I was, and then I was like, do you think she's gonna give birth today? Do you think she's gonna give birth today? And I was like, um, January 17th. She was like, no, most likely tomorrow. Um, and I was like, oh, okay, cool. Like, I was texting everyone, I was texting her mom. I was texting my mom, we were like group chats, and they were like asking me like, oh, how's it going? Like oh, like almost every hour or so I was, just, or maybe like less, you know, it was every 10 minutes or something. And then everybody was like, how's she doing? So I was like texting. I was like, oh, she felt a contraction. Oh, another contraction. But and then I got really like just focused on her. And so that's when the contractions were just going in and out. Like they were just like, 
like she started like like kind of like oh no 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 like really like feeling those contractions and i was like i was like well are you okay and she was like she was like doing those breaths basically she was going through that and then she was like she was like get the nurse again i was like man i was like we're just bugging her and she's just telling us the same thing but i was like rule number one or tip number one oh, we Tip number one, gentlemen, make sure whatever she asks for, you you give her. Like, you need to have her in, like, the right mind space. That's one thing I learned on TikTok that was actually good because I was like, you need to make them feel comfortable. You need to make sure that anything they ask for, even if it's, like, like you bugging the nurse several times, it's like, just do it. Just do it for their mindset to calm down you know um so i was like okay so i called her again and then i was like oh i'm sorry i was like she's feeling like someone's pushing and she's like oh yeah yeah you're fine like it's just your contractions and she was like no 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 like it feels like like it's ready like she's ready to come out and then she was like oh no it's okay so the nurse leaves and then okay. she goes she, I, I told robert she, no oh no that time my body's naturally pushing and i can't stop it but that's when you were like i think i'm gonna need at least that medicine the fentanyl yeah the fentanyl just so it numbs or tries to or help, tries me to help her out but then she was like it's not gonna really do much but it'll just help you a little bit like i i don't, I don't know in what sense it was gonna help her but yeah they they put her some of that and she was still feeling the pain so i was like it's not really working so the nurse comes back puts it in the iv and then she goes hey um i'm gonna take my break and she's like Sorry, a daughter just passes out. <laughs> um, I'm gonna take my break. I'll be back in like 30 minutes. And so we were like, okay, she's like, this is gonna be your new nurse. And so the new nurse that stepped in, she was very sweet, very kind. Um, I felt like she was shy. So she was like, hi. And I was like, hey. And then she was like, oh, I'm gonna help you guys out with everything. I was like, okay. And then she started getting pains in between. And so as they're doing all the switches. And like, it was so intense. I literally looked at Robert and I said, bring her in, give me that epidural. I said, I know I didn't want it, but I can't fathom going on with this pain for hours and hours and hours. Like, I didn't know when I was gonna give birth and I told him I am in so much pain, I couldn't even like breathe, like I was taking my breath away. That's when I had told her, give me the epidural, I'm naturally pushing, I don't know what. And she's like, sweetie, that's just labor. There, she was kind of talking to me like, like a first time mom, like, you have a long ways to go. And I'm like, I can't explain it, but I, I, it's just like, basically moms trust, trust your instinct because I knew something, I knew I was like going into labor. So then I told Robert, tell him I want that epidural. I know I didn't want it, but I am in the worst pain of my life. And so they said, well, for the epidural, we need to give you a 30 minute IV and then we gave it that patrol. I said, fine, start me the 30 minute. I'd rather just do it now. But before before all that, that nurse had came in and was like, she was like, oh, okay, like, do you guys need more water? And we we're like, no, we're fine. And she was going through the pains. And so the nurse would walk out kind of awkwardly, like, oh, snap. Like, because the nurse wasn't really there to help us in that way. She was just there subbing again. And so as she walked away, she's like, call her. So I called her. And she's like, she's like, she's like, no, um, it hurts. It's like, I feel like I'm going to push. And the nurse was like, hold it in, sweetie, hold it in. And I think she was almost saying it like, I'm not your nurse, so hold it in because I'm not she about to deliver that. I also thought she like, like, my pain tolerance was low and like... Well, I think they probably explained to her, oh yeah, she just came in today, so she's yeah. not going to give birth like, today. Like, the way that they were treating me was kind of like, like, brushing me off like... You're it, they weren't treating it as bad. It was just... Not bad, yeah. but like they're treating me like you're not gonna go into labor right yeah, now. Yeah, that's like it's like unheard vibe. of for you to go right now. Like, yeah. So I felt like they weren't ready for that, like the no. delivery either. And so that's when. So it's like around 10, like 10 15, I wanna say. I said, get me the epidural. She, no, she said, call her again. And so I called her again. And then here comes the nurse, kind of like, can we check? No, I. Because she tried to check, huh? No, she said, I said, give me the epidural. She goes, it's a 30 minute IV. I said, let's do it. She goes, before I do all of that, let me just check your cervical to see if you want another centimeter or so. Because last time they checked was at six or seven. I forgot what time. The nurse I was that took a break actually checked too. So then she checked me and then she goes, oh, you're full 10 centimeters. You're ready to push. No, she was like, the nurse before was like, I don't feel, I don't feel anything. Like she was trying to feel. 
like to see how yeah, much how wide, open I yeah. was. But and she, so she was like, uh, she's like, let me go talk to someone. So she left. Never really told us anything, actually. Then the, the sub nurse was the one that was like, let me check. And she was like, um, yeah, I think you're ready. And then we were like. And, and that was, caught me off guard because I was ready she was to like be this. She was like, having oh. a and then as soon as she said, I think you're ready. She was like, huh? I was she just so switched. confused. Oh, I, <laughs> I was so confused because I was last at six centimeters. And then all of a sudden I was at 10 with, I went from six to 10 in like two and a half hours or three hours, something like that. Um, and so that caught me off guard and I was like, push. And they're like, yeah, you're fully dilated. Like, let's, are you, you want to push or do you want to still get the epidural, but you still got to wait 30 minutes and whatever. I said, I'm just going to do naturally because that's what I wanted. So then the nurse just randomly started grabbing my legs and telling me to push. Right. Remember? And I was like, now? And she's like, yeah, push. And I'm like, what the? Then they called other nurses or? No. I so, don't even re- That's so we, a blur to me. We were supposed remember. to meet. The, what, we're supposed what is, to meet like the, the, the night nurse, night nurse, and then the midwife who will deliver. Yeah, me. The so midwife. they were going to come later in the evening. So yeah, so it was funny because as soon as the other nurse was like, "Well, let's see," and then she was helping her. She's like, "Okay," like she's like, "Push!" Like I was like, "Oh, like, let's like some practice pushes." Like let's go. Mm-hmm. And I was like, and I was okay. like, I also t- I was I was looking around like, where's the team? It was just one lady, the sub nurse, not even the nurse that was supposed to help us. She was like. Let's just let's just try, and we're gonna go up there so you could see and feel. And she was like, she was like, yeah. Put her legs out, and I was like, it just one nurse is gonna deliver this baby. I was like, that's crazy, and so she was <laughs> looking at me, and I was looking at her, and we were like, like, I don't know, just go for it. And Literally, so, this is us in the room. I was like this, and, and I was, I was just like holding her hand, like, and I was like, you push. And I was like, okay. yeah, push. Okay, wait, it's just okay, you? Okay. Yeah, you got this, baby. Okay. <laughs> and it would just, yeah, it's funny, right? I don't know if you heard that in the microphone, but she left. Um, yeah, so when that was happening, I was like, I was like, I don't know. Why did, in movies, why do they have like a whole team and lights and stuff like that? It looks like a whole like oh, I set. Forgot. And so I was like, I was like, okay, I guess this is different here. And so, no, so as soon as, as soon as I was like holding her hand, I kind of looked and I was like, let me see if I see anything. And I was like, oh, snap. Like in my head, I was like, I see, I see the bait. Like I see the, a bulge pushing. And so I was like, <gasps> and so I didn't want to tell her and scare her. So I was like, okay, I'm just going to tell her like, you got this. And I told her, remember, like gentlemen, tell your, remind your, your wife, your baby mamas that when they do the countdown, the last, how, how, how long is the countdown? I forgot. 10 seconds? I think it was push for 10 seconds. Oh. I think they go like one, two, two. three. Yeah, so you're four, pushing throughout five, all that holding. Six, you're kind of, like, it's kind of like holding your breath. Yeah, you're just like, <gasps> for like 10 that. seconds. And so I told her, remember, because I saw this on TikTok again, I was just researching, like, what do I do? But basically, remind your spouse, significant other, whoever's giving birth, remind them to, the, uh, when they get to seven, eight, nine, ten. 10, literally, when you hear seven, a lot of people start relaxing and that's kind of what I was seeing her do the first time. It's hard. Like when you're pushing, you run out of energy. But the reason why Robert's saying is because the baby is like, like push, makes, push, push. <laughs> and then by count seven, the baby's like, I pushed for t- only 10, 15 minutes. Like that was it. I pushed for 10, 15 minutes and that's, it escalated. <laughs> the midwife came when I had like, <laughs> five minutes to go because i was pushing with the other nurse yeah. and then another nurse but then the midwife came in and she's like hi my name oh wait you're, yeah she's in labor yeah. oh and she went she was the, prepared to just introduce herself the sub nurse is like hi like looked over and then i'm just like who's this and then so she, this lady walks in i was gonna introduce myself but let's get this started so they start breaking the, the, was, the bed apart that, like and they start lifting anxiety. her legs even they higher put the, what sternups or what are those called like those Things oh, they look like armrests. And then they had spotlights like yeah, right there. On the she lights, put big like, old gloves on and like a, she suited up. And then that's when she's like, you got it. Push, 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 push. Like she kept doing that. And then. This is, the this is what the, one. this is what the spotlights felt like. Watch. It literally was like this. Hold on one second. It literally was like, like this. I the like mood. This. And then once the baby started coming out, they were like, 
we were like, oh snap, like, I was like, I can see clearly now. As soon as the lights went on and everything, I was like, oh, this is real. This is what I saw in the movies. Like, this is- That was so is... unreal, like- No, it was real. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> so then, so then another nurse walks in and she's like, hi. And then we were like, and she's like, oh, she's giving birth right now. And then I was like, oh snap, like, who's this? So they were, none of them were prepared for me. So we had three nurses and I was on one side. And then, um, so literally the, one of the nurses, uh, the midwife was the midwife like, lay, the like sitting on a chair, um, where Leilani's legs were open. And then she was just there helping like, go ahead, push, push, push. They were like, don't push, don't push. And I was like, what? And she was like, don't push too much, but push, push, push. I was push. like, I was like pushing. And then I was like, ah, and they're like, they're like, what they say? Don't push. Or like, oh, yeah. no. Don't, don't make noise. Yeah. Don't and then make I was noise. Like, and I'm like, ah. Mm. And I'm like, what? And they're like, don't make noise, just quietly push. And I was like, mm. they're like, because and I'm like, ah. they're if like, you let no. your energy like, and your scream, you're gonna lose energy. And I was like, what? Like, yeah, I literally energy. was just like, what the? So then I was like, okay, I was kind of quiet during labor. I wasn't screaming because I, I was just like yeah, her, grunting. I was like, I was like, I'm gonna hear like, I didn't ah. cuss at him. I, I was like, she said she loved me, but she was at this point she was actually really high. And the epidural thing was was going I through. Epidural, no. no, the epidural thing, the the pre. Remember they were doing something before, so you could oh, get epidural. The i the IV for the epidural was already in my system, but that doesn't do anything to me. No, no, I know, but that was going on, and we were thinking we're gonna get the epidural soon, but then they were like, "You're pretty much ready," so she was like, "Okay, like I'll just push," and so, um, yeah, going. That was just going back, but not going forward back to where they were helping her deliver the baby. Um, I saw hair and, <laughs> and like I was holding her hand and I was I was over her her right shoulder. Uh, she was laying on the bed and I was looking at her and I said, I was like, none of these nurses have told her you're making progress or or yeah. um, she said that she saw that they give you a mirror. So I was like, I was like, OK, like I'll just be that mirror. And I said. I said, hey, I see the head. And she was like, Duh! and when I said, I see the head, she goes, really? And I was like, why you step out of like pain? Like, I guess she's so excited that she's like, forget this pain. And but like she was like, yeah. encouraged me to yeah. keep going. Yeah, so that's, what, that's another thing you guys should do. Um, whoever is there with Support the person. person. Yeah. Um, is just, just show like so much support because or sorry, show so much, encourage her that that you can see the baby coming out or whatever because they don't know, like literally they're just like, I don't know, like I'm in so much pain and it's just coming out. I remember the water, the bag just went. <laughs> and that was like, that was like a murder scene. I the was like, what? The midwife was like in the splash zone. Like my one of my final pushes, the baby's head was so low, it broke my water and it splashed my midwife. All I see is like, and we're out like let's say this is the bed and Leilani's head is here her legs are that way I was here and as soon as that water broke it spilled that way towards the midwife but I look at my feet and there was so much like liquid and blood I was like oh snap like I was like I can't look down I was like I I was scared I was gonna faint. I was like, I'm pretty bad with blood. So when I was looking whole, over- Before labor, I thought he would faint. He's really bad with blood and stuff, but he was actually looking. Yeah, like, I was looking. Crazy. Cause I was like, this is like a moment that I'll never be able to see unless I have another baby. Um, but, but yeah, I just wanted to meet her, I guess. That's why I was like, but I remember looking down and I was like, oh geez, like the way everything was happening, the way her thing was opening, I was like, this is so unreal. And they said like going natural will hurt you, which obviously the contractions did hurt. But then they talk about the ring of fire, which is basically when the baby's head is crowning. And it hurt, but it didn't hurt Oh, you me. know what? Then that, that um, fentanyl, what is it? I don't know. Maybe, maybe it helped me. Maybe it helped It didn't hurt me because I've like seen and heard stories of that ring of fire. And it honestly, it didn't feel that bad. I felt relieved every time I pushed. Like when I pushed, I felt my contractions lessen. It was it was pretty crazy. Like it actually felt better to push. So I only pushed for 10, 15 minutes and the baby came flying out. Like it Whoa. wasn't like like the head stuck and the shoulder stuck. It she was said, literally the last she said, push. Here I come, mom. Whoop. She flew out and then immediately the was like, and immediately cried. It wasn't like where they had to like like pound her back to like yeah. make her breathe. No, she cried 
on spot. Loud. I was like, damn, well, when we got to meet her scream. And so ah. I saw her and I teared up. I see the umbilical cord. And they're like, they're like, here, cut, cut the umbilical cord. And I was like, me? And they're like, yeah. And then the nurse says, I'll record you. And so she took my phone. I have that video. We wanted to like low-key record and everything. Yeah, but my labor us. progressed so fast. And they let us. We didn't even like anything like that. And I did a second degree tear. Because when they told me to push, push, and then stop pushing, I couldn't stop. Like I literally so just you got had a to push. Second degree tear, which is how many tears? levels Stitches? levels oh of, i don't know i don't know but she Maybe was like they were saying tear, they were the saying like oh you're in a you're in a good I, they told tear. me i didn't rip too bad but i did rip so but because of from, i didn't from here to the other hole yeah that's where she went but i didn't rip my booty hole <laughs> yeah no she just connected there so it was one big hole <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck no <laughs> you can't cuss youtube's what gonna stop no. us um but what they she's up this is what this there is no like you might you're probably saying like well yeah she's hands. in the middle of the lights and stuff like no this is her she just dropped my equipment <laughs> i'm gonna wash my hands no this is her like daily she'll take a power nap if they wake up <laughs> with the um with the stitches because they so after you give birth while we're doing skin to skin, they're sewing, they're pushing up the placenta. They're like pushing on my stomach super hard. And, and they, they are um, giving me, they're stitching me up. And I, they give me a shot down there and they're like, um, <laughs> they gave me a shot. And they're uh, like, this yeah. will help with the numbing. No, it didn't help. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Oh. There we go. You okay, girl? Um, and I told them, oh, no, I feel you stitching me up down there. They're like, well, yeah, they're like, you didn't get the epidural, so you're but not she was, she was like this, like still like very drugged. And so I was like, I was like, you did it, you did it. And she was just happy. They stitched me up. That really hurt because I felt everything. That numbing needle did not help whatsoever. And then what happened then? They wrapped her up, weighed her, everything like that. Hi, mama. And then what happened, babe? When, when... You were holding Alani on the couch, and they, after like an hour and a half. Yeah, the nurse. After an hour and a half, they were like, "Let's go try and have you use the restroom." Wait, you forgot to tell her about the nurse when she came back. Oh yeah. Our our main nurse. She was like, she's like, oh, they told me you gave birth. Congratulations! And we were like, yeah, you told us we were gonna give birth till tomorrow, but we gave birth during her lunch. That's how fast it all went, and so I was like. <laughs> Hi, Mamacita. Hi, Mamacita. See if we can get her smile watch. Hey, let's do Look little toesies. Oh, <laughs> my gosh. She's oh, cracking she up. She loves that. And I love toesies. <laughs> get my son. Get my son, Mama. Get my son. Get my son. <laughs> so then, after they weighed her, everything like that, they um, wrapped her up and gave her to Robert, and then they told me, let's try and have you use the restroom before we bring you to where you recover. I, there's a name for it. I just can't. I have mommy brain. <laughs> Hi. Look at her laughing. Wee. <laughs> See, we get distracted by her. And then, so, they gave Robert Alani, and then they walked, I got up, after I gave birth, after like an hour and a half, they made me walk to the restroom. I peed, no problem. And then I told them, oh, I feel really lightheaded. And then that's all I remember. And then you were with Alani, right? Holding her? Yeah, I was holding her. And then I was like, I was like, why is it so silent? And then all of a sudden, I see another nurse come in. And then the nurse goes, oh, your wife's fine. She just fainted. And I was like, nope, nobody told me anything. And I can't see because where I'm sitting, the rest, there's a wall and there's a restroom like this around the corner. So I was like, nobody told me anything, but I'm like nervous now and I'm like holding her and she's like, she can't wake up. I, like, I, I mean, as a first time dad, you're just like stuck because you're like, I can't move. And cause I'm so afraid that she's so fragile and I'm like, but and then hearing that I was like, oh my God, I'm gonna faint. And so I just, 
kind of sat there and I could hear them and then they roll her out of the of the restroom in a wheelchair in a wheelchair and she was white like pale like her lips lost color she lost I was just like and she just goes I'm okay but I was like no you're not and I was like yeah that was scary I've never fainted in my life that was so scary other than that 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 was our labor super crazy super fast so basically went to the hospital at like 2 p.m and then i had her at 10 45 and i was in active active labor the whole morning went into it naturally and then jumped from six centimeters to 10 centimeters in like two hours and then pushed for 10 minutes so yeah Put him up. Can you just pop that? Oh, you fighting Dana? Put him what? up. Put him up. Come on. Hiya. Hiya. Get, get him, girl. Hiya. Get him, girl. <laughs> get him. Get oh, him. Oh, oh, you trying to hit me? You trying to hit me? Come on. Get Put him. him up. Put him get up. Get him. Show him how Dana showed you how to fight. There we yeah, go. Block the him. face. Block the face. Block the face, Alani. Block the face. You got to block the face with that. You got to show little toes. Wow. Hi. Hi. Hi, mama. Hi, mama. Look at look at her smile. Look at her smile. Hi, mama. Hi, mama. Hi, mama. Wow, look at this toe. La araña, la araña, la araña, la araña, la araña, la araña, la araña. She loves that. It's like la araña means spider. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you for being so easy during this video. You made us look like amazing parents. You have anything to say? Let them know. Here, speak. Yeah, go ahead. This is your time, baby girl. Oh. Good job. High five. We're, we're still showing her how to do all that. And thank you for coming to our show. <laughs> Alright guys. Peace. What? That was the baby by the way. Her face. We gotta cut because she's hungry. She's gonna do her own mukbang. Wait, wait, let's just do her ASMR. This is Alani's ASMR. That's her every day. Three in the morning. So it's kind of like cute, I guess. She's a really good sleeper. She is. I am too. <laughs>